All right, we are calling the meeting to order. It is seven o'clock. We do not have any citizens, so we do not have any citizen comments. So we'll go to the next thing, which is to consider approval of minutes for June 13th, 2024, and take appropriate action. These were emailed to you before the meeting, but they're also here in your packet, and we can look at them again. You see any changes or anything that we need to make? Speak up. I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes presented. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, Lee motion and Jason <coughs> second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right, motion passes. All right, as we are starting a new year of library board fun, um, we have to, or we get to, um, conduct officer elections. So, behind the minutes in your packet are the bylaws. And Article Four is all about officers and committees. Um, so what we will be voting for are chair, vice chair, and secretary. Um, if you are the chair, just so everyone knows what you get to do in this meeting, you meet with Heather before each board meeting to go over the agenda. Um, you go to twice a year meetings with the other board chairs and mayor and council, and you present now, thankfully, just once a year to council about what is going on at your board and that you get to make the PowerPoint for and do all the speaking for. So that's what you're signing up for. If you're the vice chair, you just, you really don't do anything. That's right. Unless the chair can't go to something or do something, then, then you do. And then the secretary's job is to take the minutes of each of our meetings and you send them to Heather, neatly typed, doing your best to not have many, many errors that we have to fix and figure out later. Um, and you have to, with the chair, sign our meetings from our minutes from each meeting. Um, the other thing we have that's kind of fun is our trustee. And the library trustee is um, your job is to go find fun stories about the library that have happened in and out for around the world. But other libraries anywhere. Anywhere, so, anywhere around the world. Anywhere states. around the Local, world. state, national. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Can I ask a question? You may ask a question. Um, so. In rereading the article four, section one, mm -hmm. the vice chair, who is the chair elect in parentheses. Does that mean that the vice chair from last year is now the chair or do we really? I think it's just, they're the, like, it's like, like mayor, mayor pro tem. Tem. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's, it's an abstention. Yeah, so, yeah. The chair is not there. The then, chair. then the vice chair I'm is the chair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> what we do now is you nominate people and then we vote on the people. Take a position. Take a position to propose. Yes. So pick a yeah. Pick a position. Position to propose. We can start with. I. We'll start with chair. Okay. So right or what do we? We we'll start with trustee. I don't care. I nominate you as chair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think we still have to have seconds for nomination. It's second. Okay. So chair. Yeah, yeah. I'm writing. This and then I'm going to say, what are those all the letters? And are there any other nominations for other people who would like to be a chair? Okay. 
but you don't just have to make it so that you don't have your choice. As a democracy, I got a job. All right, vice chair. It's David currently. Nominate David again. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay with that? Okay. Is that, just want to make sure. is that a second? Okay, I think. <laughs> I just want to make sure. I mean, I've been at PTA board meetings when there was nobody saying you just nominate somebody, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bringing the snacks again. Yeah, exactly. Janice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Jennifer Hall. Jennifer Hall. All right. And then we need our trustee. I nominate that. Trustee. Secretary. Oh, shoot. Secretary. <laughs> Secretary. I do think you'd be a good trustee. Secretary. All right. Nominees for secretary. Does anybody want? Is anybody interested in that job? Okay. Zach, Zach is now the secretary. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not what you go to the Okay, so I would nominate David. Second. Nominate. <laughs> There's so much writing. That's Stacy's second. <laughs> Gotta get it right. I know, but it's still okay. And then anybody else interested in nominating or being secretary? Are you an alternate or are you full position? I'm an alternate. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to inoculate it for this. Um, um, in that regard, we do not have enough to have alternate finish positions. All alternates are being moved up. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Oh, okay. We have five members, including alternates. Yeah. Yes, because you do have to be, that was a good point, that you do have to be a full mm -hmm. member to be an officer. Okay, so now we have the trustee. I was going to about to say, they would nominate, nominate me. I said that. <laughs> okay. We sure. got to vote on it. Vote on the same. Vote on the same. Is she allowed or not? No, that's not right. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Is she allowed or not? Sorry. Started talking and I started writing what you said. Okay. So this is what we have. We have board chair. Um. Kristen, my myself, or Vice Chair David, Secretary Zach, Trustee Lee. So that's what we're voting for. <clears throat> so all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. So then I'm going to say that that passed. And we will move on to C3, which is patron feedback. And that is in your packet behind the bell lodge. There's not a lot. So I mean, it's just like that four things. Very, 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 very I guess. I don't know. So um, I do like that you have added an age. I don't know why that feels special or important, but I think it helps. I think it helps. I think I really like that they're numbered. Uh, actually, in the bottom of like bylaws and such from like the agenda and everything else. So I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so mm -hmm. just to do a quick review of them. And then if there's anything you have questions about or would like to discuss, or if you out in the wild, a friend's made a comment to you. We don't have anyone other than myself. That would be on Farmer's Branch Mom's Facebook. But if you were somebody in a oh, group I'm... like that, are you? Okay, good. Because oh, of the school. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes people will. I, think I, haven't say things. I haven't either. Um, so things like that. This is a time that counts also as patron feedback. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious sure. about response to the fee question. Or that's come up before. It has to go before council. It's not something that we can do as a board. Yeah, no, I'm we can not sure. propose it. But just sure. some of the questions about where they go for what are they used for? Um, do you, do you know? 
know off the top of your head because I'm I, I have an understanding of it, but I'm, I'm, what now? I'm sorry. <laughs> so they're asking where the fees for lost like books go. Question, should you respond to this person or not? I have not. Okay. Well, all the fees typically just go back to the journal fund. For the city, that's what I thought. Yeah. We usually get because I guess they're paid to through your software, and then we get reimbursed for that. So okay. it, it's trickle down. It goes back to just our journal fund. That's the trend. It is the trend. It's not that much money, is it? Oh, I've asked this question before, and I can't remember. No, it's a, it's a before, before I lose track. With the exception of paying for things like printing. Yes. And supplies. Yeah. But checking out a book that's a week late. Here's my quarter. What are the times? Um, I can talk, talk to that because I've <laughs> <laughs> again part of the money that I've spent in the library. We made about I'm just thinking of the budget, we made about the current year we brought in about fifty five hundred okay. in, in library fees. We budget about six thousand a year. So it's about six thousand is what we usually bring fees, which is yeah, it's not not much. No, it's not not a lot. It's 10 cents per day for a book. It's 25 cents per day for a video or like a audio book. Audio book. Yeah. 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 CD. And then it's a dollar a day for like 3D printers and such, I believe. Stem kits. Yeah. Stem kits. And that, this might include because you charge for printing too, don't that you? That does not include the printing. That's, that's just I was going to be a follow up question. Okay. I had it's is the okay. printing included in that amount of acceptance? Okay. That's just as fine as that. Yeah. Is that worth yeah. putting in a bid to council for that? Oh, asking. Um, yeah. I could bring it up in December. Would be have our thing. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely something if you guys want to bring up. I mean, it, it it's six thousand dollars a year, so. It's, Especially since we've seen it several times in the question. It's it's coming from like it's coming from patrons. Yeah. I can also tell you from like my, my family, between all of our library cards, I think we're holding like a collective $50 balance that we haven't paid because you don't have to pay until it reaches the threshold unless you just want to, you know, do your, your budget. budget set, is your city budget set at this point? Uh, it, it's going to get approved. They look at the budget mm -hmm. on next week, but it, it's sometime in August or early September yeah. when it will be approved. And my suspicion is even if they approve it, they won't allow it to happen until next year. Oh, right. year. Yeah, yeah. we'd be looking at next year. Right. But, it no, be deferred. And they don't yeah. and they start working on next year's budget. It's like March. In spring. Yeah. Exactly. So when we get to them in November, that means they have from November to March to ponder it. And probably what we need to do on this end is look at what other cities are doing, what other library systems yeah. are doing. And of our Which, similar, similar yeah. 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 Well, that would be a great thing for the trustee. I know. I, was just saying that about. I can tell you there are four North Texas city libraries that still charge fines. Four, just four? Yes. Is one of them valid public libraries? No. Is there a big, no. They're so big and they don't charge fines. No. Yeah. I think there's are all any of them really close to us or no? Not particularly. Get a good breakdown of that compared around North Texas. Happens almost every time. So, you know, almost every time. <laughs> yeah, every, almost every time we get them. Yep. Is there a way to search all of the patron feedback? Like, is it stored somewhere? So, could you search it and see how many times we've got, like, specific times we got questions about? Six months old. Uh, I know it's a good good year. Is it? No. 
It was here when I started, and I started it about seven months ago. And I think it was there before. I remember the transition I stood with it. I, is, I remember when I came. Yeah. It was still just like cloud switches. Yeah. And dials and everything. I can probably look in my binder and find how far back it is. That does include fines and fees, though. It, it must be because there was only one line item for that. Yeah. Um, these would be here, the cost it, it, when they it, lose an item or right. have to replace it, okay. whereas fines are their late. Then that would make sense. I mean, it's a lot different. Sure. Than losing it. Yeah. I think I, I would say that you would want to keep that in there, that if you lose something, you should still have to pay a replacement cost. Destroy it. Yeah, yes. If you if you damage, destroy, lose an item, then you should still have to pay to replace it. But but this your kid needed one more day to read a book. I don't think that you should have to pay it for that. And there's other tools for checkouts. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Most books, most are. I've done lots of books on it. Been auto reading like four to nine minutes. There is. Uh, the max right now is three auto renewals. So you could potentially have a book out for 12 weeks before getting a fine. That's very generous. Um, what was the difference between a fee and a fine? A fine is. Okay, so a fine is when they turn an item late. Okay. A fee. Excuse me would be if they have lost an item or damaged lost an item. Damage. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Okay. Any other thoughts on? I'm trying to figure out yeah. what or if for dreading means. Oh, for where? Second, second line, first comment. Oh, no, I don't. Well, I'm going to guess for reading and their fat thumbs gotten the better of them. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. They're doing mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need to do a few more. Yeah. <clears throat> or their dog jumps on them while they're sitting on the floor <laughs> and typing an email. That mm -hmm. happened to me today. <laughs> Cat on the keyboard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My case was Husky on the keyboard, but it's fine. All right. Any other comments? All right, then we are on to director's reports. So as you will see, I've printed out an actual report for everyone. Uh, might make it a little bit easier for the minutes too. Um, this new format includes a few statistics about the month. This is for June. I do not have the upwards around 80 and upwards the summer for each and he does that twice a month you really absolutely yes um <laughs> the next one was one of our very well done june uh wednesday wonderful wednesday performers which was the blackland prairie raptors that came out um, and i included a little picture of dustin holding one of them I do not want to be near them, so he can have them all he wants. <laughs> I didn't say Natalie did a good job, but you can tell we love them. Oh, he does. He absolutely does. Um, the third picture is going to be of the adult craft night. And we get actually get very good attendance for those as well on Wednesday nights. Um, 27 came to this particular one, and it was folded books. So instead of throwing out books, we recycled them into an art project. It looks like they make little lanterns or something. Basically. Some additional information. Um, for those of you that are signed up as text as your main notification, um, the next few days you should be getting if you haven't already receiving a, a new text from a new phone number that's going to tell you that all your notifications are going to be coming from this new number um, because we have a new texting system 
that we are advertising. Um, so all of the text notifications are going to start coming through much easier. And so hopefully we can start phasing out some of that email that goes to spam. Um, let's see. In June, we had 360 attendees for story time. So Linda is doing a wonderful job with those. Um, and I think she's got some big plans for fall as well. Um, Let's see. So with summer reading, it's the wonderful Wednesday performers are annual. That's something that's been going on for quite some time. And in June alone, just those programs brought over 400 people. Wow. So that's one hour a week for four weeks with 400 people. So they've done very well. Um, Good return on your investment. Yes, absolutely. Um, the last thing for summer reading is that it ended yesterday. We had our uh, <laughs> turnout at the party at the Frog Pond. I believe so. Yes, I don't have a final count yet. Um, a lot of that has to do with waivers and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But yes, um, so uh, we went to the Frog Pond, had a party, called it, called it done, um, and then uh, coming up in August, we are having a blood drive. On the fifth, Carter's will Carter Blood Care will be here, and they will be set up in the hub. So, and they are already taking reservations. So, and that is my June report for the library. Can I just add a few things since I'm here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just want to let you guys know that there is going to be some uh, budget discussion at the next council meeting next week. Um, they're finishing everything up. We have been um, talking with Sue uh, Constantine, who's the so the LSNS Paul is the the contractor that the city uses for libraries. So Heather actually works for LSNS. Um, so we've been uh, working with Sue, which is the she's regional yes regional uh, I guess director manager vice president vice president. So um, on some contract adjustments to our current contract, and so you know we have looked at. All, all the pieces of the contract from materials to uh, hours of operation and things like that. So we'll be, um, we'll communicate all that to you all once, you know, council, is, they've got those numbers in the current budget, but nothing's approved yet. So um, we, we have the same, we've got some reductions and adjustments at all of our parks and rec facilities. So it's not just, we're not just looking at here, we're looking at, um, you know, the rec center, the pools, uh, senior center, uh, all of them. And what we're looking at is is just, a, it's really just tightening up with some hours. We're looking at usage, um, which is really what we did here as well. Um, looking at, you know, low attendance, things like that. So we're not, we're trying to definitely keep hours and operations open when it's critical. I mean, you know, one of the things that I know just with the library from some of the discussions is um, we've seen a lower attendance on Sundays for a lot of the parks and rec and, uh, branch connection and things like that. But Sundays here are pretty busy. So we 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 wanted to make sure so we had to kind of, you know, so those are things that we're really looking at and we're looking at numbers and things like that. So Sue and Heather have been really you know good about trying to get information. We've had really good communications with um, the staff at LSNS. And so um, you know it's it's gone really well. So I, I don't think um, you know I think we'll still be able to provide good crop good quality programs and facilities. And I don't think it's going to really affect anything. It's just a matter, like I said, of kind of tightening some things up. What uh, kinds of things? Uh, <laughs> well, so the, the, the big areas are hours of operation. And then uh, in general, I think right now mm -hmm. we're at, I think there's 64 hours that the library is open currently. And so we looked at adjusting, uh, we we're proposing like a Monday through Thursday, I think opening later. Mm -hmm. An hour early. Yeah, I think it's they close at nine typically on those days. So I think we're looking at eight. So, and I think that's an, you know, that's usually their lower attendance. And it doesn't affect, there's some programming we're working around. We might adjust the schedule on some of the things the evening. Um, so that's, uh, and then. In the evenings, if it gets dark so early, it's also a safety issue sometimes. Too. Right. And and then the other thing is looking at some materials. We we budget a certain amount 
per year on materials. And we've looked at reducing that a little bit. Uh, and then, uh, so those are kind of the two big areas that materials we're looking at. Materials being like books and books? Typically, yes. And what we're look, and that's just the same for the parks, and we're kind of just following the same suit as the other facilities, and um, and and the big push the reasoning for this not only is it to tighten it up, but we we have a lot of things uh, come. We're you know competing with lower uh, taxes overall, just because of the um, the way the state's similar to school districts uh, was kind of putting the. Uh, we can limit how much we have, even though you've got property taxes, the, the rates have gone up. We just found out that commercial um, rates are lower than expected. So that in Farmers Branch is 70, I think 3% commercial. So when that happens, then you know we have to make adjustments as well. But I think even with all that, we're still looking at a tax uh, rate reduction. Uh, so that's a good thing. I think right now they're looking at almost a three, still almost three cents uh, tax reduction. So, um, so it's it's good, but you know there'll be some changes probably if if things are approved. Uh, yeah. I'm just concerned. Like, I get the hours, but I think my concern is reducing the materials cost. When we have had a citizen come to a board meeting and and make complaints about there not being a of having access to certain things. And then now we're just kind of exacerbating that problem by decreasing the amount of money that's allotted towards the purchase of materials. Well, I, I think some of the conversations I've had with, with Sue uh, has, because there's a lot of subscriptions and there's not as much physical materials anymore mm -hmm. that she was she felt confident we could still reduce it and still provide a good product to to the patron. So um, I and that was kind of her um, the reduction is is we're in line with still keeping the same level of service. Um, so that's that's what we're going to go into it with. And, you know, we'll kind of go from there. But um, I mean, she felt pretty good about it. And, you know, we're in a 10 year contract. So um, once council approves, if they approve the budget, then we'll have to go back and we'll have to make the actual contract changes with LSNS. So um, that'll be, you know, coming, you know, probably we'll be working on that September, October. So hopefully things will get get changed. But we are looking this to uh, try and take effect. Well, whenever we can take the contract. So um, it'll be sometime in, in uh, maybe September. We, maybe that second meeting or something, we'll try and get that that okay. done. So it'll hit so October first, mm -hmm. and and we'll know more. Um, you know, council got their budget really last night. Um, the final that's by law; they have to get it uh, turned into them. So they're reviewing it now. Like I said, the, it's still high level discussion. Um, next week is just a study session item. So. Um, Things could change, you know. They, you know, you just never know. But uh, at this point, um, you know, we we need it. I just wanted to take this opportunity, and I'll I'll try to make my, you know, we'll pitch to, you know, park board and senior advisory board and those kind of, you know, those those boards as well. So this is because it's early. I wanted to make sure uh, I get with you guys. Get you guys get the news. Yeah. So um, and I, it it makes sense to have it with director's report so that's kind of where we're yeah, at so no, um, but yeah anybody have any any questions or anything and can, can the library accept donations i believe we can no. um, oh <laughs> well the oh. friends group can right um are you of money or materials mm -hmm. so we can we can accept material donations and we can accept donations up to 50 dollars in value anything over that has to go through the city Um, it, it, it can be done. It's just it has to go through the city. Okay. If we had we have a donation account for the library set up. Yes, you do. Okay. Um, if we had a friend of the library, that would be a different matter. They would be able to accept as their own entity. 
but we do not currently have an active fence. So what you're saying is you could accept 100 books from one individual under $50 per time, correct? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but no, like if, if it was $49 and we did that 100 times and 100 separate transactions. I will say we do not make any promises to anyone that does donate. Yeah, it is fair. in our policy and it is in our policy that if it does not fit our collection development policy, then it is our discretion whether to discard, donate. So generally speaking, we accept donations that would be less than five years in age. That is our general policy when purchasing. They have to be less than five years of age. We are required by the state to have a collection that is um, fairly new and up to date. <laughs> Um, and, and that is their threshold is five years. So while we do have things older than that, we have to keep the majority of things fresh and, and what patrons currently want. Yeah. I think that's just my concern. I mean, I get the tightening of the hours. That was something that was talked about before Heather joined. Mm -hmm. the, uh, noticing that there was not a lot of activity during the week from eight to nine and that it could really help with some of the staffing needs if because you could you would need less people if they're working less out at a time and anyway and and, that. and that's the same like that's what we looked at too when i mentioned earlier so the aquatics and rec center those sundays were just really low attendance so those are the days we're probably going to look at you know trying to cut back there just because it's I mean, we have the data that shows we just don't have people going in and yeah. we're having to pay staff and open the building and all that stuff. So. Well, that's, yeah, yeah. So maybe it's just it's not as compressed. high as it could it's be. Right. I know, yeah, because that's the other part that I think the pool only might be, it's four, three to four hours. Of the, I know the pool's open, well, I think only three. Yeah. yeah. And that still focuses the bulk of it when we have, we have programs and, and our regular needs. So, yeah. Cool. Any other questions? Okay. All right. Then we are on to C5, discuss agenda items for future library board meetings. And if you think of something later when you're when you're washing your hair in the shower, which is when I think of all the things that I want to think about. It. Um, you have to notify it's just the board chair, but I think you can also let Heather know one week prior to the meeting in question. Um, if you are, it's best to do it eight days. Think eight days before our meeting, um, just because the agenda has to be. 48 hours? No, 72. It's a that long time before the meeting. <laughs> Would you like me to? Yeah, I can't remember the exact number of hours. The, uh, the agenda has to be posted 72 hours in advance. However, it does have to be approved. I send it for approval at least two to three days prior to that to get approval. Once that's all adjusted, it goes to the city secretary to be. Yes. To be so if you're driving home <laughs> and you're like, oh man, I really wanted to talk about whatever immediately, like female, once you're not driving anymore. I have an agenda item, but I have a question because we talked about when we revise or update policies um, that we were going to go in packet to the city council. Mm -hmm. Are there ones we need to look at other than the one we already have? I mean, are there some out of date policies that we need to start putting on the agenda? So I have a meeting to go over those policies and get them finalized coming up. 
Um, and once that's done, I it will be added to the agenda okay. for you. And I I want to say there's 12 policies altogether, okay. but I could be wrong on that. It may be less. So you'll definitely want to make sure that you see them before you come in with your questions so that we're not trying to read them while we're sitting here. Study your materials before you come. That is a big thing with Marilyn is do your homework. So, so this is the process for that will go to city and then come back around to the agenda, correct? No. So it will come to... Uh, I will deal with it through LSNS. Okay. Uh, me and my superiors and everybody will put together a proposal for the policies. Mm -hmm. It will come to you for review and any suggested changes, updates, things like that. And then it will go to city council. Okay. While I'm doing my review with LSNS, mm -hmm. I will Robert will be included with that. I will look at the policies too, because I don't know if everything has to go to council. I don't, I'm not, I'd have to check and see. I don't, I don't. I don't know what. I know council hasn't seen any of our policies in at least ten years. So probably they should. Hmm. And a great time to take them to council is in November or just November. But it's budget time. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just no. saying, like, <laughs> when we do our presentation. Or you can just say you're you're working on it. If you have twelve, that's that's a lot. It, it may be a few yeah. less than that, but. I just need. We did that first one and then realized there was quite a few that needed to be updated, touched on, things like that. So, all right. Anything else? Any any future ideas? You have one, Danny? Two. Okay, great. Lay them on me. Number one, the ADA stairs that are still not ADA stairs. Mm -hmm. It was discussed two months ago. That's true. At our last meeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something needs to be done on those stairs before somebody gets hurt or a student gets sick. Number two, several months ago, there was discussion of the little statues that match the ones that are like the rec center and whatnot <gasps> that are down in the basement. The basement. Yeah, the they basement are statues. apparently still sitting down there. The last that we had heard about it is that we were waiting on budget for concrete paths that they were going to do at the same time that they did the light for the crosswalk. And the box. And the, and the deposit. Box. Yeah. None of that uh, came to fruition, apparently. So I'd like to know where that stands. Mm -hmm. Get that moving in a positive direction. And the last thing that I have would be probably doing a review of the local work for you to see what else has come up on future agenda items that have just kind of fallen by the wayside. Okay. For, uh, six to 12 months because we put out ideas and then they just kind of fade away. Okay. I know we do when we <clears throat> meet look at what was on there. So, but I'll go back. Um, so we'll go back and look. That's all I do. Do you have any more information about the basement statues? I this is new to me. Yes, I we probably have, have it in my notebook of fun. Yeah, it's probably be, in here. Okay. Be, so we, have, we saw pictures of them. We saw pictures of them. So Ryan and Trevor <clears throat> were down in the basement. Ryan would be able to fill you in because okay. she was part of it. Um, and they found these statues that look like the kids who are playing. Mm -hmm. The bronze. They're bronze. Yeah, the bronze. Mm -hmm. They were. They were and they in. Want to see animal shelter too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But prior to the renovation, they were like in the library. Like one of them was like there was like mm -hmm. a kid in a chair. Yeah, it was one like leaning on his. Leaning on his. Bucket. Yeah, and that one was like by the elevator. Mm -hmm. so this is like pre-renovation. And, the and then they got put in the basement post-renovation, and then. Um, we talked about putting them out in front as art because, and we talked about this is the other thing that the ball got dropped on was doing some kind of mural or something on the big white wall because it's just very white and and blank and whatever it's just not anyway. There there's a great opportunity there. to work, work with a local artist. And with the art trail that the Arts and Culture Committee is doing, 
Like that's like, there's just an opportunity that we are missing out on with that. Um, and then, yeah, we had picked out, we even voted on where the statues were going to go. And it was all about getting- It's gonna be under that big tree there when you turn into the back the side park. Mm -hmm. When you're coming into this side parking lot here, on the left, on the left under the tree, it was like the kid laying, sitting on a bench. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. There, we yeah. all looked yeah. back, there's, yeah, there was- like, like, spent a lot of money on that. Right, and I don't know if they were not kind of in the same fashion of trying to get rid of the fountain at the corner of Webb Chapel and Valley View that was donated and put there in a person's name, so they can't really do get rid of it. Like, were those donated by somebody in somebody's name, or were those part of a larger commission and the city bought some and put them outside different but buildings? Well, and even still, if the city purchased it, then yeah. that's that art belongs to the city, the residents, the and needs to be out where people can see it. So there is something, I, you're right, I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. I think I just was like, it will get, it sounded like it was going to get taken care of. Right, and that's that was the primary yeah. purpose of bringing those things up. Yes. Yeah. The pattern that this board has had over the three or four years that I've been on it, where things, great ideas, get brought up, but then just kind of fail. Mm -hmm. So having a running list of things. I'll look great. back through. This is all the agenda of the like mm -hmm. five, four, three, how many years I've been on this board. So as long as you have been. Well, I'm one year less than you, maybe three years. This is three years of yeah. yeah, they they should be in there. They were in at least one of the pres at least one presentation. There was a presentation that Trevor did because he showed them to us. I think they might and then they, them. and then they, I don't think it was in the packet. No, I don't think it was okay. in the packet. Because it wasn't printed PowerPoint. out. Yeah. yeah, it was like a PowerPoint. Yeah. yeah. And we even had, he and Ryan even went around and like took pictures of places they thought that they would be good to go. Because I think one of them we talked about putting down at the Creekside entrance. Yes. One was supposed to be out by there and the other was going to be out back there. But we can revisit all that stuff. Mm -hmm. we can where they are, what the deal is, and can we get to them? Yeah. I do potentially know where they are. Potentially. Mm -hmm. Not positive. I think so. And that brings up the other idea that we had at one time. We were talking about how spooky it was down there. Mm -hmm. At one time, like when the power went out or something. Uh -huh. So like during the storm, but when we came up with the idea, we could always go around to Halloween do story time in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. Any children down basement stairs. <laughs> I didn't even know there was one. I was like, there's a basement? Yeah. Like, someone told me that. I'm like, oh. Okay. The whole building has a basement under it that, like, one, is it this end of it? Yeah, this end. Flood. Yeah. One end of it floods every time it rains. Yeah. And they actually even have some of the old um, fountains underneath it, too. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't work, but I mean, they have fountains. <laughs> no, that's great. Um, if I may make a suggestion on that, yeah. Um, after the uh, city council takes their vote, if our hours are cut like that, you may, we may want to think about readdressing what time the board meets. Uh -huh. So we want to make that a time I guess that will be a future dependent. dependent. <clears throat> I know we are one of the later meeting boards. Most of the other boards meet for dinner at, at either 5.30 or 6, and then their meeting either starts at 6 or 6. Yeah, dinner's at 6. I think park board 6 and 6.30 is the meeting, which isn't too different from this one, but but the rec is open later, so because um, we have those meetings at the rec. Senior advisory boards are in the day, so. Um, and I think arts and culture in Stokel Park, and that's the six and then at six. I know the sustainability is six. It's six. Yeah. at five thirty mm -hmm. and six. And they meet at the fire station by Brookhaven, the new one. Yes. All right, going once, going twice. 
next next yeah. meeting oh yes oh. next meeting. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so the second thursday of september is september 12th yeah do you want to just set the next next two we've done that in the past and that's been helpful the 9 12 works for everybody mm -hmm. yeah i doesn't work for me, but oh, none okay. of September works for me, so okay, that's okay. Great. okay. <laughs> as long as yeah, no, none of September is just and shot. Then, um, uh, the October date would be the tenth. What's our typical? The first one. The second, second. Thursday is our typical yeah, meeting. No, no, no. This is when it should be. We moved it because we just. Fleeing to New Mexico for the rest of August. So Stacy has teachers work. night, and I think Zach is going to be out. Yeah, Stacy and I are both teachers, and I think back to school time. Well, yeah, I think. So when's the September one again? Nine twelve. Nine twelve. Second Thursday, and then the second Thursday of October is the tenth. Does that work for? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Most everyone. Do the first Thursday, and the kids off at the first. Thursday. Make your birthday last a week and stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so our next two meetings will be September 12th and October 10th. Thank you for reminding us about that. All right. Anything else? All right, now we are to item D adjournments. All right, Paul moves to adjourn. And I'll second. David seconds. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? All right. Motion passes. We are adjourned at 7 47 p.m. That's a sprint. It wasn't a lot to discuss, though. <laughs> no.